Coffee pellets have become very popular, but I don't think they're a good idea for gardeners. In this video, I'm going to give you three reasons why I don't use them. So what are Jiffy pellets? Well, they're compressed organic matter, and they're compressed into these little discs. They're relatively inexpensive, and you find them all over the place, especially early in the spring because people use them to start their seeds. They take the discs, put them in some water, and they expand. Once they're expanded, you end up with these small little pots with a plastic mesh around the outside holding the organic matter inside. Originally, Jiffy made these from peat moss, but they now have a variety out that's made from core which is a ground-up coconut husk. They did that because a lot of people think that using core is more eco-friendly than using peat moss, but that's another myth. Once these pellets are expanded, you can put your seed in the top and germinate your plants. They seem to work fairly well. Problem number one, they're too small to grow a good-sized seedling. They're okay to get your seeds started, but before they're ready to go outside, you're going to have to repot this into something larger. So you might as well put the seed in a larger pot right from the beginning. The other thing that happens is that because the outside of this is a mesh, it dries fairly quickly. If you get that pea moss or core dry, it becomes hydrophobic and is more difficult to wet. The second problem with these pellets is that they restrict root growth. Not so much when they're a seedling inside the house, but when you plant them out in the garden. The, the manufacturer of these recommends that you can take these pots, bury them in the soil, and they will decompose. That seems to be a bit easier than taking a seedling out of a pot and planting it, but it's actually a really bad idea. This material doesn't decompose, and so it restricts the root growth inside this mesh bag. Let me show you a couple of plants I found in someone else's garden this spring. This here is a pelagonium, what you might call a geranium. And it's been in the garden all winter long, and I'm just digging up the old plants. And what I found was that they all grew inside one of these mesh bags. I think what happened was that the propagator used these bags and then put them inside a larger pot when they sold it. Now, the homeowner takes that larger pot home, plants it in the ground, not knowing that there's this mesh bag inside. Here's another example, a clematis I found. It was propagated from stem cuttings, and those stem cuttings were started inside this mesh bag, and then the whole thing got planted. That mesh bag, because it's not decomposing, is restricting root growth laterally. You only get a few roots growing out the bottom. In fact, what I found in one of the plants I dug up was that there were two mesh bags. The original stem cutting was propagated in a tiny bag, and then that was put inside a larger bag, and both of those were then planted in the ground. That's terrible for root growth. If you're going to use these Jiffy pellets, you have to cut these mesh bags off. The third problem with these Jiffy pellets is that the mesh is plastic. It doesn't decompose in the garden. Now, that's not what the manufacturer claims. This is what Jiffy Growing Solutions says on their website. The material is made from PLA, that's a type of plastic, and it's biodegradable and compostable under controlled industrial conditions. Now that statement is legally correct, but I think it's very deceptive. When they say controlled industrial conditions, it means that only specialized composting facilities can compost this PLA plastic. And there are only a couple of those in North America. There are none in Canada. So yes, strictly speaking, it's compostable. But most municipal composting facilities can't compost it. And it's never going to compost in your garden. So what happens if a PLA product ends up in the environment? Well, it can actually take a 100 to a 1,000 years to decompose. Who wants that in the soil in their garden? Another study looked at the effect of PLA on living organisms and soil, and they found that it actually harms earthworms. We all know earthworms are good for recycling organic matter and improving our soil. We want to keep this kind of plastic out of our gardens, in fact, out of the environment. 
Now this is an easy product to use and if you use it properly you can grow plants with it. But if you do use these Jiffy pellets, make sure you cut the mesh off and throw it in the garbage. Don't let it end up in your garden. Now what do I do instead? I use real plastic pots. I recycle them year after year. The original ones came from plants I bought at nurseries. And then I just use them. They last at least 10 years. And so I keep a set, put in some peat moss in the spring, plant my seeds and use those. I find them just as easy to use as Jiffy pellets. You want to know more about starting seeds? Well, here's a video I put together that shows you all kinds of mistakes people make when they start their seeds. Have a look at it right now. Happy gardening.